I removed four ingrown toenails on this same patient. Watch this video and see how we did this. What is an ingrown toenail? An ingrown toenail is just an incurvation of the nail plate. It goes into the side of the toe, creates an inflammatory process, which sometimes gets infected. This patient actually had four of these. A severe one going on on the one toe and on the opposite toe, it wasn't as bad, but he's had them before, so he wanted to fix the same procedure. First thing we have to do is numb the toe. We numb the toe by injecting the toe, not where the ingrown toenail is. We actually go back to the base of the toe where there are four nerves. We inject these four nerves with an anesthetic solution. Now the toes completely numb. The next step is to put on a tourniquet. The tourniquet stops bleeding, prevents the blood flow from going into the area that we're working on and helps the medication work better. The next step is to free up the nail plate. We use a small little elevator. We get in there, we free up the nail plate to get it ready to be cut out. And we're only removing about two to three millimeters of this section of the toenail. And in this particular case, we're using a chemical called phenol to stop it from growing back. Once this is freed up, we cut it with a nail nipper. That starts the cut. The next step is use a small 62 or chisel blade. We cut all the way back under the cuticle area or the area that we referred to as the epinicium. After that's done, the next step is to put the chemical in. It's a chemical called phenol, and this creates that chemical burn, and it stops the nail plate from growing back. And we do three applications of this. They're 30 seconds each, and that stops the nail from coming back. Everything that we did on this left toe, we did on the right toe. Now you're asking, well, there's only two toes. How are there four and go toenails? Each side of the toenail was infected, and we had to remove them. As I said before, the right toe wasn't as bad, so we still wanted to remove these corners because he was having problems with infection before. So again, three applications of this chemical, the nails won't come back. We use an antibiotic ointment and a bandage. This stays on for 24 hours. The patient follows up in two weeks. At that point, we make sure they're doing okay. It takes about two to four weeks for this to completely resolve. I let runners run the next day. You can get back to work that same day. Although with something like this, you'd probably want to go home and prop your feet up. Hope you like this video. Please make sure you click on that like button and hit the subscribe button below so you can see some cool videos that we'll be posting in the future. I record all of my surgeries and all of the surgical procedures and the fascinating educational opportunities that we have in our office. If you want to see these, please make sure to subscribe below and we'll see you for the next video.